Welcome back. Your timing is perfect. This is a wonderful opportunity for all of us, and I think certainly for Debiso and myself. Now, set against the backdrop of apartheid, it seemed that young medical students Steve Biko and Mampela Rampele were fated to be star-crossed lovers. They, along with 13 others in the early 1970s at the University of Natal, birthed the Black Consciousness Movement and were later to have two of their own children before iconic struggle leader Steve Biko was tragically murdered in police detention. Now, joining us this morning here on Expresso to share more about his brand new book, Black Consciousness, A Love Story, which uh, dives into this story as well as the full story of the founding of the Black Consciousness Movement is their son, entrepreneur and author, Lumelo Biko. Mr. Biko, good morning. Morning, guys. How are you doing? Oh, so good. fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. It is my absolute pleasure. Is it strange for me to say that it's just awesome to look at your face? Right. Ah, <laughs> right? Thank you. Thank you. It, it really is. And I'm sure you get this quite a lot. Congratulations on the new child. Much appreciated. Uh, the fact I, that I you... know you're going through the same thing. <laughs> Six months, it gets real very quickly, <laughs> my friend. So the fact that you are here in the flesh uh, adds additional gravitas to this. So congratulations on the latest book. It looks beautiful. And I use the word beautiful because at its heart is a love story. That's but, right with the setting of the Black Consciousness Movement, which has got to be the script of your life. You obviously were birthed into this space. You didn't have a choice, but you have embraced this mantle and you have chosen to live by those pillars and uh, allow this to breathe through your work. What has that been like? Do you feel a weight of responsibility or has this always been a choice for you? Well, it's been neither. I think it's just been part of my story. You know, growing up, it wasn't top of mind. We uh, grew up in much the same circumstances as probably both of you did. And uh, it took a long time for uh, the black consciousness story to become uh, as popular as it become now. Uh, I think straight after 94, not a lot of people knew the story. But then I thought over time, it's become almost all about my dad mm. and not about some of the people that he did what he did with. And uh, this opportunity was really one to tell a story about young people doing something that's brave and courageous. Because mm. you forget how young they were. They were it's unbelievable. Right eh? the all of them started off around 21, 20 when, yeah, when all of us started. Eh? Incredible. But th this book is not just a reflection of your parents' relationship. It really is also a, a, a departure from your previous works, yeah. right? But I'm sure uh, to some extent as well a nod to a lot of the work that you have put out there. That's right. How, 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 how have you managed to sort of capture that? Well, firstly, it's more personal. I typically have been writing books about other people or history or whatever it is. And this is the first time I incorporated my own story. Mm -hmm. um, and I think at some point in time, uh, the author has to reveal themselves as part of the narrative. <laughs> and for me, it just came very naturally because uh, I think the timing is right where young people need to be jolted a little bit out of the complacency of waiting for older people to do things for us. Because yeah. it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, yeah. And I think the narrative that I've put together was really just to remind us that uh, if 15 people can change the country, then, you know, the millions of young South Africans can do much more. Mm. How? Mm. How do we embrace the core principles of the black consciousness movement today. Give it context now and how do we get young South Africans? I think so many of us are so desperate yeah. to see a shift now. Uh, yeah. How do we achieve this? Well, I think if you think about the way that we've run our country, we've run our country based on a narrative that is about retribution, that is about uh, restoration, that is about laws that make things balanced. But we've forgotten about the relationships between people. And black consciousness at its heart was a relational concept, which is how do you relate to yourself and how do you bring that self into relation with other people? And the confidence that these young people asserted in their spaces, firstly with each other, uh, in, in the way that they engaged about things that they found important, but then certainly with other people and, and made uh, no bones about the fact that uh, culture and identity 
are the most important things we have, and they're to be protected, and they're to be honored uh, in relations with other people. Mm -hmm. And I think it sounds like that's like last on the list of priorities for this yeah. country. Mm -hmm. And when you're building anything, whether you're building a company, whether you're building a family, where do you start? You start with identity and culture. Mm -hmm. And the same thing when you build a country, and I think we've forgotten that. Mm -hmm. I know that you speak a lot on culture and identity, and I think that the timing is so perfect now, ahead of Heritage Day on the 24th this right. month. Uh, you've come up with this book, and I think it's such a good place to start uh, uh, with or at. Why would you go and say to people, encourage everyone that's watching this right now to get this book and read that? Because you want to sell a million Do copies, let's be honest here, come but on, you buddy. want to also remind <laughs> us of those pillars and those anchors of culture and identity. Why is it so important? Firstly, I think this book will make people feel better about themselves. Because I think that in any circumstance, uh, one gets overwhelmed about uh, how to take oneself from here to there, right? So uh, whether it's somebody that's already doing well, thinking about moving from success to significance, mm. whether it's somebody that's struggling economically and thinking about how to assert themselves where they are, or whether it's a young person at school thinking about the meaning of life and trying to figure out how do they become something in a context where they feel kind of small. And I think in all three uh, genres, uh, you're gonna find something in the story that really inspires you. Because I think I've told the story of real people uh, with warts and all. And, uh, and, and I think the love part of the story is uh, what intrigued me. Because you know, there's different ways to change things. You can change things when you're angry. Uh, but when you change things from the place of love, I think there's an enduring capacity to, to give everything about you into that uh, transformational experience. The ultimate sacrifice, I think. Beautiful. An amazing narrative yeah. at its heart, a beautiful love story. So thank you for giving a human face to this story as My well. Pleasure. It, it really, it looks like a magical book. So congratulations on its success. Go and sell a million copies. <laughs> you can refresh yourself after that. Um, I, I wish we could have you here every morning. In fact, I'm going to refresh myself as well. Um, <laughs> but it, it, it really is remarkable to me that um, you have found your way to this place. Um, and maybe this is what the world needs to hear right now because we've had a mirror held up to our face over the last yeah. year and a half That's and now right. is an opportunity for us to to move in a new direction so thank you for being a part of that thank you that voice man and you're so good to us, see you yeah guiding us in that direction that's Lumelo Biko's sharply written new book black consciousness a love story it's available for purchase from all leading online and uh, book retailers now many great and important discussions that really do come through there that can be had from reading this book which is why we really are offering you the chance to win one of two copies yes that's right all you need to do is go onto our facebook page uh, and let us know who would you want to read and discuss this book uh, with and why and you will then be entered into a random draw to win this incredible prize of course which will hopefully spark thoughtful conversation in your home over a cup of tea i was going to say then you're going to sit down you're going to have a warm <laughs> brew you can that's make right. it as sweet as you like that yeah. is yours thank you so much for joining us this morning and congrats once again on the growing family you can go home and have a, a nap now thank you you're, you're allowed <laughs> hopefully you will get your hands on a copy of this book i think it is going to be life altering on a number of levels